Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I am again not at home. We are doing another fun makeover actually for our best friends Billy and Jerrica this time. They just recently purchased their first home and it looks very different today than when they bought it. So I actually got to tour this house right when they got the keys. I think the day after they closed escrow and got the keys. If you follow me over on my vlog channel, you saw that. We were trying to figure out some things that they could renovate before they moved in. So the kitchen, this is all new. The kitchen was a big thing for them to work on because the kitchen as it was before was in the middle of the house, very small, and Billy for sure is a big, cook he loves to be in the kitchen for him and their lifestyle they definitely had to have a larger kitchen and they wanted to make the kitchen to the living room a more open floor plan to give them that extra space because everything was kind of compartmentalized so it has been so fun to watch this process jerick has been sending me progress updates on the progress and the design and the details that she was picking they wanted that contrast you know like the darker cabinets with the lighter granite um and then the brass hardware could to bring in that warmth for Jerrica. So they've done all of that work. And today I am here to figure out the other spaces, specifically the living room and the entryway. So a big thank you to Castlery for sponsoring today's video. We're in the process of getting, furniture is being moved in as we speak. I'm really excited to see the pieces that we chose for this space um, because a lot of them will look a little bit familiar because they happen to love the furniture that we had, which is also from Castlery. The challenge is blending the two styles that both Billy and Jerrica have. So Billy is very modern, very clean. He would want everything super like white and black and shiny. And she is more traditional, organic, coastal a little bit. So here is our mood board for their house. Blending the two of them together, really doing it with color palette. I feel like bringing in that dark, stark black in areas, pairing lighter and darker furniture also is a way that we're going to kind of like blend those two. But they're definitely in the mindset of when you have a happy wife, a happy life, I guess is the saying. So Jerrica is really leaning in on bringing in some warmth to the space and not having everything so slick and modern. We've got our work cut out for us. I have some really fun DIYs that I wanna do, like some wall treatments. We're gonna bring some furniture in, so let's get started. One of the very first things that Jerrica told me that she wanted to do in this living room was paint the fireplace brick black and so right now it's pure white it doesn't do much for the room it doesn't add any contrast and it kind of just disappears so by painting it black we're really going to make it a focal point in the space and add a lot of depth so i'm using a paint that i just picked up from the hardware store it's actually by bear it's called broadway black and it has a little bit of a blue undertone to it so it's going to match the color of their cabinetry in the kitchen a little more but be more solid black i had lots of help painting this fireplace because there were a lot of little nooks and crevices that we needed to paint into and it definitely needed two coats to get it as dark as we really wanted it and had like a full coverage. I actually painted our fireplace in our home black as well, the brick part, and it was more of like a chocolatey black and I absolutely love it. I love the depth. I knew as soon as she told me that she wanted to paint it black, I was on board. So we got the fireplace painted all black and originally the inspiration, I really wanted to do something different. I want, I found this particular inspiration picture that had a black base, um, but it had some interest to it. This looks like real stone to me. It has more of a dusty chalky look and where I really wanted to do that, he absolutely loved it a little bit of a shine on it and it just solid black. So we're, for now, we're gonna stop on the fireplace because it does look really good. It added that depth to the space that it was, the house was missing. We're bringing in lighter furniture pieces, so it really needed that depth and contrast to add some interest to the space, truly. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, so we were on a mission for rugs. I'm always on a mission for rugs, always. Um, in the store, when we found this one, it was a great price. I think it was $179 for an 8 by 10 which is crazy. In the store, it looked so warm, like so exactly what we wanted. But the dye lot and the ones that were rolled were more icy. But it is still really pretty. It's just not what we expected. So I've been on a hunt since then, 
Couldn't find anything quite as good. It's gonna lean less warm, so I think Billy's gonna like it a lot better. And we have a rug pad. This is an eco grip. Everybody, meet Kane. He's gonna help. Are you gonna help? You're a lot heavier than Kinsley. I can't make you move. You know, so I'm, my personality is big on centering everything. <laughs> centering something. And when you've got a lot of points in a room that are on a lot of different areas and different points, it, they don't really line up. You kind of have to just pick the most important, I guess. The fireplace hole is, is off center, right? And the fireplace is shoved all the way to the wall. But the light is over here. This is the center of the light. But we can't have it that far. Then it's over here in front of the window and door. So. The most important line is from the living room to the center of the kitchen and the center of the island. So I picked that as our point. Now we can bring in the furniture. So does this couch look familiar? This is the couch that we have. We have loved Castleberry for years. We have it in our living room and formal living room. We have pieces kind of like throughout our house. If you haven't ever heard of Castleberry, Castleberry is a modern furniture company that really creates a story for every room. They craft furniture that is timeless and they're direct to consumers, so there's no middleman. So they're able to offer these high quality pieces at a more affordable price to us, which we love. So this couch is, is just like ours. It's the Dawson extended sofa. It's completely modular. So we actually have the L shape version of this couch. You can get just a centerpiece with an ottoman. You can get a smaller size, a bigger size. It, there's so much that you can do with modular couches. I highly recommend a couch that's in light and color to have removable cushion covers so that you can clean them. It's inevitable, something might happen. This is the Sloan Square coffee table. This collection I love. I love the rich wood tone, and I love all the ridges along the sides. They have a lot of pieces in this collection which we actually got throughout the house. This chair may also look familiar. <laughs> this is the Adams chair, the straight street person. We have two of these in our living room too. Love it. I love it with and without the side pillows. Like if you wanted a deeper seat or a wider seat, you can, you know, use these as like accent pillows. Um, but we keep them all together because we love like the structure of it and everything. Or we could turn it so you look at the TV, but then it's not as conversational. So And a bar or counter wouldn't be complete without bar or counter stools. Uh, these are actually the Edith Kane whitewashed bar stool these come in two colors and i really wanted to lighten the kitchen a bit since we had all of the dark cabinetry and the dark down here on the island but then the countertops have this like light beigey vein in it um i thought that it would look really good with this like beigey whitewash which it really does i like that it lightens it up a lot so i got four of them also another thing i love that it had the black on the bottom so it further tied in the kind of color palette we were going for and Castleway offers free fabric swatches. And when in doubt, I always like to see and get a fabric swatch so I can see the material in the space before making a big purchase. They also offer flat rate shipping, which is great, and a 14 day return policy and warranty coverage. And Castleway is having some savings for Black Friday, so you guys can use code BFMCKENNA for some extra savings. And I'll leave all of the information in the description box below so that you guys can just tap and shop all of the pieces that we used in this makeover. So in the living room, they have a fan. And I asked them <laughs> when I first saw it, I was like, do you ever see yourself using it? I don't like fans in rooms. I don't, I don't like the, I don't like it. And they have central AC, so I was like, will you ever use a fan? They both said no. So it's a missed opportunity for something prettier than this fan. We actually went to Lamps Plus to see if they had any lighting, anything simple, brass to tie in the hardware from the kitchen. Found a really pretty one, and we're gonna swap these out. And also a very must have for this space, for Billy specifically, was a very large TV. <laughs> I love this chandelier. Like we could have actually gotten a heavier set chandelier too. I think the room would totally support it. I was just worried about like, you know, the weight looking from the kitchen to the living room for the TV. They're very aware of the TV. Moment of truth. Oh, that's wonderful. I love it. So 
we didn't want to lower it anymore because then it would block the TV from, from the yard. So I really just did one chain link. So we actually talked a lot about possibly doing a media console, a media cabinet. Uh, underneath the TV. We did order one and I don't love it. I think we're gonna need something else. I think what they wanna do is maybe do like more of a floating one. It actually closed off the spade, the walkway a lot. So hopefully they can find something that they're really gonna love um, that's a little on the smaller side. So that's, we didn't know how much space we were gonna have in this. So that'll be to come. I did get something really beautiful from Rolling Greens. I wanted to bring a real tree in. I found this beautiful pot and fiddle fig. Now I've always been a little bit scared to do fiddle figs myself because they can be a little bit temperamental, but I think their room in here is going to get a lot of sunlight, especially in the afternoons. You know, you don't want scorching sunlight so that the leaves burn, but you want it to be bright and enough. So I think it's going to get the right combination, but they can always move it around to where she's going to thrive the most. Also, hopefully she'll grow too and she'll be just like beautiful here in the corner. I have pillows. <laughs> I found the majority of these at Home Goods actually. Um, the Home Goods by my house always has like great pillows. So I got some like neutral, lighter options, and then some warm options to kind of bring in the warmth and tie in the coffee table. When I'm picking pillows, I really use it as a way to pull in something that's missing, pull in a color that's missing, pull in more texture something like that. So I knew we needed to warm it up because it was getting very like black and white. The Dawson couch also comes with two pillows. Um, so they're great to like mix in with some more decorative ones. We do like a textured one here in the corner. Then the one that came with the couch, it'll kind of give us like a lighter palette. I love this one from Home Goods. This one was so pretty. It was $34.99. I always like to leave the tags on until the person absolutely loves what I'm putting in their space. And then we go through and detach the tags. Because what if she doesn't like this pillow, you know? So I have two of these like textured lighter pillows. So I'll do the same thing on this side to make it symmetrical. I wish I could have found another one of these. That would have been like perfect. Do you have this small one? We got this one at home and it was 25% off at of $17. So, so good. I can do it like over here too. That's nice. You see it when you walk in. I actually like that. It's like a little lighter than something like this. I love a square coffee table because you can do so much with it. You can do like four pieces, like four collections. You could do just one or two. You have so much freedom and I have a few pieces that I think would look good. I actually brought these from my house because I know she would love them and I don't really use these pieces anymore. So they were just in my stash. I had this bowl really organic bowl. I thought it would be bring in some lightness to the coffee table and they could corral things on it like we did before I moved this one off our coffee table, like the remote, you know, like a lighter for a candle or something like that. So this is like a great piece. So I'm gonna try this one off to the side. And I also brought some books. Mostly more of my books that were more coffee table new books that I had purchased before I really got into collecting vintage books for my own house. Abode, Down to Earth, Living with Nature, and Curate. I was like, that'd be kind of cool to do like maybe two stacks of books. Let's try this one like here. Also, this, this is the leftover chain from the light. I was like, wait, <laughs> I kind of like it. So I saved it and I was like, what if we put it like in the bowl, like outside, like hanging out. Okay, we are in the entryway. So this is their front door and we already have a great piece of furniture for this space, but it's lacking everything else really. Uh, we thought that it, this would be a great wall to do some like wall treatment to, like some little bit of detail. I wanna do something similar to what I did in our living room, our formal living room, underneath the staircase. I did this thicker board and batten and, tr and trimmed it out and made it really beautiful to add a lot of interest to that wall. And I wanna do a similar look here, but more in their style. So here's the inspiration for this wall. I want to do it all the way floor to ceiling. Uh, I think this is actually going to be a lot easier <laughs> to do than my living room was for sure because I had a lot of angles and these will have no angles. They'll be all straight cuts which will be easy and I want to do this like top part that is more squared. I think it adds more interest than having just like straight boards go all the way you know floor to ceiling with no 
crossbars really so it adds a little bit of pattern to it so we're going to gather some supplies and start cutting all of our pieces to create the board and batten wall we're going to be using an mdf but actually a quarter inch which is thinner than i have done before because we don't have a lot of height in the room so we think quarter inch is going to be visually better and i always like to use as much of a piece that i'm using like wood or mdf so i measured the width and determined the exact measurement that i would need to cut each strip which was about five and three quarters. And I definitely highly recommend using a mask when you cut MDF. It is a lot more messy and powdery than regular wood. So it throws a lot of dust. So I used a table saw for this so that I can make sure that each cut was exactly the measurement that I needed so that everything lines up perfectly. To do this project, we're also gonna need a nail gun, some wood glue, a tape measure, and a pencil. I'm gonna apply a generous amount of wood glue to the back of each piece before I put it on the wall. This is just gonna make sure that it sticks really well and we don't have any popping over time of the boards coming off the wall. And then go in with my nail gun and put a generous amount as well. MIMDF boards tend to bend, so the more you can nail them, the better. And you can always go back in and cover the holes with some spackling, which we're gonna do in the next step. And I started with the perimeter. I feel like this is the easiest way to tackle this project, starting with the bottom, the top, and then I actually went back in and did our top detail. And I wanted to measure all the way across the wall to make sure they were perfectly level and even. So I brought that next level down 12 inches from the top. And of course, making sure each piece is perfectly level um, because walls are never straight. So you always have to do a little bit of maneuvering just to make sure everything is square and plumb. Then I did each side and this is what kind of like the perimeter looks like. And I'm a very visual person. So I laid out each piece to really see how many pieces I wanted to go across the wall vertically. And I determined on seven. I felt like that was gonna put one right in the center and equally distribute them across the wall. And it was gonna give us enough pieces to give us that board and batten look. I got really lucky with this pattern because I was able to miss the outlets and the switches. Now we're gonna go in with some all-purpose joint compound. This is to make all of the seams disappear. I don't like to see seams in anything that I do, so I applied a generous amount to every crack, every joint that we put together and let that dry really well. Okay, now that all of our patching is dry, I'm gonna sand it smooth because I kind of over, we, we over spackled it so that it would really fill the seams and stuff. That's what I wish I would have done on mine. I had to do multiple layers instead of just going ahead and like doing it all the first time. Uh, so now it's really dry. So we'll sand it and then we'll fill and caulk and perfect it um, after this main coat is on. Got everything smooth and cleaned off. I blew everything out a couple of times, blew everything off, wiped it down so it's free of like debris and stuff. I still see a few places that I'd like to touch up, but I'm gonna be able to see a lot more once it's primed. So I like to go ahead and prime, and then touch up, and then caulk. And then we can go in with our final um, coat of paint, which we're painting the same color as the wall, so it's just like textural. So I'm using the Zinsser primer, the blue one. It's the water-based one. It's um, not stinky at all. I, I really like this primer. So I'm gonna go over the whole thing with a thin coat of primer. Help the paint look really smooth and good too. I think primer is always important. we caulk because now I can see all the imperfections the seams that aren't perfectly aligned it's it's hard for me to see when things are different colors you know so once I get it all kind of like the same color you can really see those like all the little pinholes and then the seams I could do this for days <laughs> like I'm a perfectionist when it comes to like seeing the things like I don't want to be able to see any of these like joints
Okay, we're ready for the final coat. We actually color matched. We didn't know what color the walls were in here, but they had just been painted when they bought the house. So we were like, it's a, a pretty color. Might as well just keep it going. Uh, so they color matched when they did the kitchen. And so we just color matched at the hardware store. We took a kind of like a swatch of some other wall that needed to be um, fixed. And we took that to the hardware store and they were able to match it identical. So we're going to paint all of this the same color. So it just gives us that texture, that born bat texture. Love the texture. I'm glad we went with a quarter inch thick boards to make the board and batten um, because it didn't, it, it would have been overpowering to do the, the half inch. It, it was pretty thick. And we got the Sawyer sideboard from Castle Reef for the entryway. We can now decorate this space, but there is something that I want to change out and something that we will eventually change out as well once we find the right piece. First thing I did when I walked into this house for the first time after they had closed escrow, and I was like, you're gonna let me change these out, right? <laughs> this is yours, even though I might wanna change these, this is yeah. yours. <laughs> She goes, yes. So we don't love these. This isn't the vibe of the house that we're going for. And I got some new ones to replace it with. And there's also a matching light that's in the ceiling that we looked and looked for one that would work. We couldn't find one that we really loved. So I'm gonna be on the hunt for one and we're gonna eventually swap that out too. I ordered these. They are brass as well. Uh, so they're gonna tie into the living room kitchen making all the space feel really cohesive and it also has a linen shade um, which I thought was so pretty that was going to add that like traditional look to the space warm it up make it feel more homey um, instead of being just the bulbs like we did in the living room I thought that these were going to be so pretty so we're going to replace these it's pretty straightforward just like I've done any light we're just going to connect the oh this one is a yellow I've never seen yellow. Oh, it's a ground <laughs> instead of green. They like to change things on you sometimes. And we just need to swap that one out and I think it'll look really cohesive when we find one for there. Okay, so I have some fun things to decorate the entryway with, including lamps. We knew we wanted to do um, some more lighting because it doesn't get a ton of sunlight in here. It does, it does get some, but not any direct. Um, so it would be nice to have like lamps on, you know, at night in the entry when you're coming home. I love that at our home. And we found these really pretty, kind of really organic cement looking lamps at a great price, really at, um, at home. The only time I've ever shopped at that store is when uh, I'm down here, like in Orange County, but I thought it was so pretty, but you have to pick all of your pieces individually, which we didn't really know at the time. So you have to pick your base, then you have to pick your lamp shade, then you have to buy a harp and a finial. It doesn't all come together. So it kind of adds up, but the shade was $19.99, the base was like around $30. So overall, like still really good. Oh, love those. So much more light. I found this mirror at At Home too. Mirror is always great in an entryway. You know, you're leaving the house, you get to like check yourself out before you live. Just make sure you look put together. It makes the room feel larger having a mirror, so it'll make it feel wider. Even though this is a pretty decent sized entryway, um, it still can only help. Um, so I thought it would be so pretty above the entryway table. So we already know where the center is because it's my middle board. I made one right in the middle so that this would look really good. So pretty. Adding a few more pieces here. I actually have had several of these like really cool bowls that I got at the thrift store a long time ago, years ago. They were in storage and I saw it and I was like, oh, 
that would be really pretty. <laughs> I think Jerker would really like that. I had originally thought, I was like, oh, I could turn them into like pendant lights. And if she wants, we could turn two of these into pendant lights for over her island if they feel big enough. They're a little on the smaller side, or three. I could be pretty. Um, so I thought that this could be a great bowl to put in the entryway for their like catch-alls. Put their keys and things. We put another book and a candle. Keeping it super simple, but like purposeful. Looks so good. Since this entryway was on the larger side, I really wanted to add a rug. We tried a runner. It was too skinny. It was the right length, but too skinny. We would have needed a very specific size runner, like a three instead of like a two seven, like a two foot seven or two and a half. Uh, to be at like a three or even a little bigger than that, like a three and a half. Um, but I saw this one last night at Target and I was like, this has like a lot of like organic look to it, but this is a three by five. So it's not a long runner size. Maybe it'll still give us that warmth and in, in the entryway. I think this is gonna work. <laughs> even, even if we did like two of them, like, put two like next to it. I don't know, I hate to do that. I wish this one was this size, but longer. So I obviously wanted to bring in a throw blanket to the living room and I had another one that I got. I don't know where I put it now, but it was more burgundy. And I think burgundy, or like it was like a wine kind of like aubergine, like uh, light aubergine color. I think that was more my vibe than theirs. Um, so it didn't really go. So I just picked up this like neutral knitted throw, super soft. And I love to put throws off the side. Like if you're gonna walk into a space, this is where you walk in, you're gonna see this side. So I wanted to put a throw off. So in the kitchen, I wanted to bring a little bit of warmth to tie in, you know? I'm sure they'll be adding a lot more as they get settled in. Um, but I was at Home Goods and I found a few like, like cutting board kind of pieces. I thought that this one with the feet would be really cool for like their olive oil and by the stove to kind of like corral them together. So I thought this would bring in some warmth and then put these olive oil. If they had like a pinch salt and stuff, like you could do it here. I love to put cutting boards kind of styled in the kitchen. I thought that these would look a little bit of that warm color. So I brought a few bases um, that I already had that I thought would look really good in here for somewhere. Just, you always need a base. I also found this one at Home Goods, but it had Christmas already in it. So I loved the pot. The pot was so pretty. It was exactly what I was looking for while I was walking around in there. It just happened to be an arrangement. Um, so I was thinking I could just take this out <laughs> for now, but they could use it when they decorate, you know, for, for the holidays. And we can put some pretty flowers in it these beautiful like magnolia, fresh magnolia leaves from Trader Joe's. Just like felt really organic. Also for the dining room, for our future makeover, we got the Sloan dining table, which is beautiful. It matches the coffee table, it ties those spaces in, and also the matching Sloan cane dining chairs with the fabric cushions. I love this set, it fits perfectly in this room. They're going to change out the flooring, actually. There's, there's carpet in here. So they're gonna do some work in here. We'll put like a pretty pendant light and curtains and things and make this a really beautiful space later on. But this is a beautiful table. Okay, we are going to do a um, virtual FaceTime reveal. Cause Jerica's out of town, she's in Georgia. So <laughs> we're gonna do a reveal and then of course she'll see it when she gets home, but okay. The wall. The wall. It is beautiful. Dog, McKenna. I know, it looks so good.
hope you guys enjoyed this makeover. This was a good one. I really like everything that we added. There are a few things that we're gonna continue to add. A little side table with a lamp, change all the light in the front, and you know, do some more things. I mean, they just moved in, so there's so many more spaces to do. Um, and of course, I'll help her in any way that I can. Big thank you to Castlery for sending us these pieces for their new home. I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful, and I'm so happy to do these makeovers for my friends. I can't wait for Jerrica to see it in person because it's gonna feel totally different than just on FaceTime. I will see you guys very soon, again, for another fun makeover of, I don't know what. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna work on. Probably something at my house, though. Probably my bedroom or something like that. And if you're not subscribed, we do tons of makeovers on this channel. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so you know exactly when I upload here every Sunday. And I do have another channel, my vlog channel, where I took you guys shopping for all of these pieces. You got to see all the behind the scenes. So I'll leave those videos linked and you can check out my other channel too. I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. One, two, three, go. I was getting nervous. When something's <laughs> drastic, I'm like, yeah. I'm about to completely change this. Let's make sure you're positive.